Hey everyone, it's Doxy again with a new quick tutorial on how to make 2D hit effect. In this case I'm doing an arcane hit effect for our game called Folly of the Wizards. I'm testing out a new ways uh, to make tutorials to share my experience with the community and hopefully help you improve your work. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this type of tutorial where I explain the process at the start and then you can jump into the section to see what I explain in action. Or if you prefer that I explain everything I'm thinking while I draw instead of putting a speed video. Don't be shy, let me know which type of tutorial would be better. Before we jump into the tutorial, as you may know, all the content and project files are available on my Patreon. In this case, you can download the final sprite sheet, the Toon Boon Harmony project and the After Effects where I did simple post-production and you can tweak the colors. Everything is available on my Patreon and by supporting me, I can keep doing these tutorials to help the game community. Now, let's start the tutorial or the explanation on how I made this arcane hit effect for our skill in the game. I'm still learning to draw more efficiently, as you may see during the speed video, I often find myself drawing small details and smoothing many lines that will not be seen in the final animation. But I decided to let them be in the video so you can see and learn from my mistakes. Remember that this visual effect will be seen in less than a second, it is so fast that a lot of details will lose importance. When you are drawing, you tend to get in the zone and forget your goal, because we love what we are doing, right? We lose track of time and we are so deep in the drawing, even meditating, and we tend to perfect something so small that it won't be seen. So be careful with that, because instead of taking just an hour or less to make this animation, it will take you much more time. During my drawing, you will see multiple phases. First, I start by doing a rough sketch of my idea to see if it will work. It doesn't mean it will be the final look, but it gives me, uh, me more of a rough idea of where the elements should go, like the magic arcane spikes and the smoke animation. During the first phase, I put down some guidelines for perspective because I was losing the movement of the animation. Our smoke is coming from the center, so some lines and spikes should be pointing in that direction. Then, after this process, I start uh, what I like to call the base animation. Rough animation doing the basic movement. In this case, three arcane spikes going out and a smoke blast between them. I don't mind the colors in this phase and <laughs> you, you will see me switching colors midway through my work because I want to draw fast and some colors work better for that purpose. After I, I nail down my base animation, I will check every frame, clean some mess like loose trails, smooth some round edges and fix some between animations. This phase, artists call it the clean phase. This is the tricky part where a lot of artists tend to get lost in tiny, tiny details. After the cleanup, I start my last phase, adding the second animation on top. In this case, to give one more dimension to our smoke. I tend to work with colors close to my final goal in this phase. Don't need to be the exact colors because we can always adjust or even change them entirely in the post-production phase. After the second animation phase, and in this case we just have two layers of animation, I will move to post-production where I give my effect the final colors and a simple glow. I like to add the glow on the post-production because if you only give on the game engine, in, for example in Unity, it will add more process to your game and you want to avoid that. Make it simple, make it light because every frame counts in game development. Then the final part in the game engine of your choice, you can create the effect using this final sprite sheet. You can see me implementing this arcane heat effect in Unity at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, let me know in the comments what type of 2D visual effect you would like to see uh, on next tutorial and if you enjoy this type of tutorial where I explain my process at the start. Or if you prefer that I explain everything uh, that I'm thinking while I draw, while I work, instead of putting this speed video. As I told you at the start, I'm trying to understand the best way to share my knowledge and experience with the community. Your feedback plays a significant role in the future of the content. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. See you on the next one.
So I've exported everything from Turnboon Harmony that you just saw uh, now, and then import every single frame as a sequence on After Effects where I like to do the post production. Here we have our animation simple, I gave it colors, and then uh, I just uh, had an adjustment layer to give a glow just to boot, boost a bit the visual effect. Okay, you can see here the glow taking effect and it's something like this. To render this out or export, you add to render queue, select PNG sequence, okay, RGB plus alpha, that's super important. Select your output and then press render. After that render, you will have, uh, in this case, 16 frames with uh, on different uh, sprite sheet, uh, on different image files, and you need to convert this to a sprite sheet to use on your game engine to have something like this. Okay, so in order to do that, you can use the software called Gluit. I have the the link on the description in case you want to download it. It's free and it's really good. Or you can use the Texture Packer. It's a software that I, I like to use. And in my opinion, it's a, a must have if you want to develop games, uh, 2D games uh, in multiple game engines. You can export for Unity, Phaser, Co uh, Cocos, and so on and so on. Even for Unreal and Godot and so on. Here, uh, I just specify imported my uh, frames. I can even preview all the, the animation if I want. We have here on 15 frames per second. And I just created the grid, export it. Okay. So now let's go to Unity. I have uh, an empty prefab ready to create the, the visual effects. Let's start by importing our sprite sheet here. Okay and here we can preview. Let's create a material, create a material. Okay, let's change this to universal render pipeline, uh, pipeline particles and lift. It's going to be transparent, both render faces, and let's drag this here. Okay, pretty cool. Now let's go and create our particle system. Let's call it the hit the effect. We start. So here we got, let's reset this to be on the origin, okay? Our duration will be one second. Uh, lifetime, I want less than one second, 0 0.75. Start speed zero, because we want to do it just on the spot. Start size, it will depend on your project. I know on mine, it's something around between two to five. So let's go with three. Uh, emission, I just want to emit one. So let's go here with one. And shape, let's change to a sphere, zero and zero. Okay, so it will emit there. And you can check here, particles, I've got only one particle. Okay, pretty cool. So now let's give it the material that we created. So I did material, sorry. Let's F2 and call it Arcane Arrow Heat Material. I like to name everything so I can know I know what I'm doing. And here on the render on our uh, visual effect, let's drag that arrow heat material, arcane arrow heat. So here we got, but we don't have animation. So let's create that with here, texture sheet animation. And we know that our grid is four by four. And voila, here you got your cool visual effects. One crucial thing, because our game is a 2D game and we work with layers for rendering, here on sorting layer, we've got something called visual particles. So all, all of our effects will be on top of everything except the foreground and UI. It's really important. And one other thing that I want to give a bit of more randomness for, for our particle. Let's go to the start rotation. And here, let's go and randomize between 0 and 360. So uh, every time that our particle plays, it only plays, uh, it plays in different ran uh, random rotation. Okay. And one other thing, I don't want this to look, it just, oh. You can see that uh, I have a, a glow, same thing, but it's just a sphere, okay? Giving a bit of glow. 
Let's see if this works on our game. Let's press play. And you can see our visual effect working. Let's see with the with our creatures. Let's see if I don't die. That's pretty cool. And here yeah. That's a cool animation. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you on the next one.